Hey everyone and welcome to oh excuse me to the uh, tutorial about Xcode 4.2 and um, this is a general introduction and I'll be going uh, over different uh, sections of Xcode um, which features you are going to use which part of the program you're going to mainly be using um, in development of your programs now this is just an introduction and I won't go into details in everything like ARC and uh, storyboarding <clears throat> but I'll most likely be doing a video about those in the future and you're not required to know anything about the uh, development in this video this is just an introduction to the program used to develop your applications and uh, writing your code in so let's just uh, jump right to it I'm just going to do this. Now I have Xcode down here. And I open up Xcode. And I press this create a new project. Or create a new Xcode project. And we get these, these seven templates. Now if you're used to uh, a previous version of Xcode, these are all different. Um, they, they change them. And for instance, we have the empty ap application down here. In previous versions of Xcode, um, I think it was called a window-based application. It was actually a, a decent starting point for um, for anyone new to Xcode, where they would learn pretty much to to start from the bottom. So, so back then, it was a viable uh, option. But now, most people suggest that you don't really use the empty application. Of course, there can be situations where you might want to but they they change the way the te the template uh, behaves now so for anyone new the, this is uh, just not a viable solution anymore because you basically start from scratch entirely whereas the window based application ga gave you something to to start working with so I, I can't really suggest the empty application yet and we're still talking about new ones or new aspiring developers. We have some other ones here, um, a tabbed application, utility, OpenGL game. Um, I haven't really experimented with these. I'm just using the uh, single view application for most of uh, my work. And I'll suggest anyone new uses the single view application as well. Um, it'll give you a standing point for your application that uses uh, a single view, as we call it. And you'll get a view controller for that view and a storyboard containing a nib file for that view controller. So let's just uh, try and make a single view application. We'll call it foodbar. And we'll say use storyboard and use automatic reference counting. <clears throat> and let's just see. Just going to place it there. All right. There we go. And as you can see, we got a .h and a .m file the, of uh, the app delegate class. We got the storyboard as soon as it loads it up. Mm, hoping not to crash. Yeah, there we go. Here's our storyboard. And this is our, oops, our view. And this view is linked to this view controller. Now, in Xcode, over here, I just went through the files that we have. These are all files that get uh, generated um, in this template and are actually files you'll be using in most of your applications. But you navigate through them over here, and this is actually a project. You, you can hide all the, fo all the files here, and you can press the supporting files we have some other files here and you generally don't mess with these at least not when you're starting out at all so we're just gonna hide it again and we have the frameworks we have UI kit framework foundation and the core graphics now frameworks is is a collection of of code made by Apple which gives you access to work um, with some pretty nice uh, features so so um, you'll actually have to use frameworks in pretty much every project you you write because frameworks is something created by Apple and they 
provide a list of different ways to um, to write your code and to to interact with it and to customize it. <clears throat> but you'll you'll get used to frameworks um, as soon as you start working on your own projects. And we have projects down here, the foobar app, and you generally don't want to do anything to this either. It contains some information which you can uh, look at, but uh, you won't be using it. I'm just going to hide the frameworks. Now, if you go into storyboarding, you can see this is a window, and I'll not be going over too much here because I'll, I'll make another video about uh, about storyboarding and how to use it. But basically, we have a window here, and we have uh, some different attributes over here we can use to customize it with, and we can add objects to it down here. But I'll go, I'll go through all this in uh, in another video about storyboarding. Now let's have a look at how to um, to quickly add a framework because this is a feature in Xcode and I might as well just show you quickly how to do it. But you go up there in the full bar, this is your main application pretty much. And up in these tab bars here, you press the build settings. Oh, sorry, not there. The I think it's here. So, whoops. Yeah, yeah. Build faces and then link binary with libraries and you can see down here we have the frameworks as we have over here so in order to add a new framework you simply press this plus button and you can search for whichever framework you need we're gonna take the AV foundation framework we can add it and that's it it gets added up here as well so you might as well just drag it down to your frameworks section <coughs> And that's basically it. Now you have another framework um, available to you, but you still need to import it into the file which are going to use it. And that's a uh, Objective C related topic, and I'll not be going th through it here either. <clears throat> and in Xcode, that there's a lot of stuff you can mess around with. Uh, standard stuff you see in, in a lot of programs there's, there's a lot of different things but the main things you'll be using I've showed you now and the last thing I'll go through is this run here just quickly gonna and change the background now, now here we just got a, a, a black window <coughs> and if you want to see how this runs on the iPhone 5 simulator or we could take the iPad 5 simulator. We're going to take the I iPhone 5 here. You just press run. Now it compiles all your code into uh, to stuff the computer can read and it links it all up and it throws it up in a uh, iPhone simulator. As uh, so we have right here. And there's our black background running in the iPhone 5 simulator and obviously if we created anything else if we had buttons or some images it would just be displayed here and you can test this out this works pretty much like a, like a normal iPhone except there's some uh, swipe functions and the GPS that you can't use but you'll use it to, to do a lot of text testing um, on your app and you quit it up here iOS simulator quit iOS simulator now, as I mentioned before, when we pressed run, it uh, does something that we call compile. That it compiles your code into code that the computer can directly read and use and work with. You can do this compiling uh, manually um, without having to run the project. <clears throat> if we press... Oh, didn't... I don't think it's going to let me press... Whoops. Yeah, okay. Like that. Command B or the, the CMD button and then B for build. Then it just compiles your code. That means it goes through all your code and if you have errors in your code, it'll let you know in this section here. And you can then correct the errors. 
Now, it would also do this if you just press the Run button, but sometimes you would like to just compile your code and error check it to see, well, did I make any errors now, before you actually go and run the entire project in the simulator. So that, that's the two build options you'll, you'll be using. The CMD button and then B for builds, where you'll just compile your code and see if you have any errors in your code. And then there's the Run button, which has a shortcut for on CMDR. And then you can test your application on the simulator. And that's pretty much it. Uh, of course, there's, there's a lot of different stuff up in these bars, like, like many other uh, <clears throat> software programs have. But the areas I've gone through now is probably the areas you'll be working with the most when using Xcode. Uh, I think it's just one more thing I'd like to show these up here. It's different ways to view your code and, and you can easily see what they're doing simply by pressing on them. They'll display or hide different sections and this will as well different ways to view your code at to play around with so, so just go ahead and play around with that and that's basically it Oops. yeah okay now I just messed up my storyboarding somehow <laughs> Never actually done this before, to be honest. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I think I might even have to restart my Xcode to get this back to normal because I've never really been in this position. I have absolutely no idea what I just did. <laughs> Water tutorial, everything just went horribly wrong. Um, yeah. So, so okay. So advice: don't don't, uh, don't get this up. If you get this up, might, I might go and have to find a fix somewhere because this is actually the code for the storyboarding, and I don't want to be messing with that at all. Some pretty weird stuff. Hmm. I think we. There we go. Yeah, uh, nope. Huh. Let's just see if I can get back by placing this arrow here. I jump through all my. Well, there we go. I jump through all my previous uh, files, and there we go. Seemingly, I, I did something that it didn't like. I accessed the view controller's uh, code directly, and you don't want to do that when you work with your view con or your uh, your your view here you'll do it in the view controller so if you ever get to the point where I just was you simply press the arrows up here and you just jump back and you should be all set and up in Xcode here we have some other uh, buttons and sections and there's a lot of these that will be used for error checking and debugging so it's kinda hard not to show these in function without having generated some errors that needs fixing so again that'll be for another tutorial when I'm going through some X oh sorry Objective-C stuff <clears throat> so I think this actually concludes this little tutorial or introduction to Xcode and Xcode it's, it's really a nice program it might seem a little overwhelming at first but it's actually not that bad and once you get to know it, it it's very neat there's, there's a lot of uh, nice uh, features that you can add and some of them are relatively easy to add and to use <clears throat> but you'll, you'll be using this for most of your applications right so this concludes this tutorial and see you guys next time